Welcome, Taurus. How are y'all? I hope everything is going good with you guys. I'm here for a mid-month video for you guys, okay? So this is going to be from July, mid of July to the end of July, okay? So let's see what energy is coming towards you. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. Click the bell for your notifications so you won't miss out on any of my videos, okay? If you would like to purchase some merchandise from me, guys, that information, you'll see the merchandise below, right below the video, okay? And if you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, I do have a limited amount of availability. So you can check the description box if you want to purchase your own reading with me, okay? So let's see what energy we have coming towards Taurus for the rest of July. Okay, let's see what message is there for Taurus for the remainder of July. We got purge. We got purge. All right, so purge. You guys are purging something. You're trying to get rid of something. Okay, let's see. It's something negative too because we had the the devil card at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so you're trying to release some uh, something nasty, some nasty habits. Some um, some of you are actually could be sick. Okay, so you've been trying to purge. Okay, let's see. Trying to get rid of something. Grief. All right. This could involve a relationship, a commitment, possibly a marriage. Somebody's pride and ego could possibly be in the way. Okay. But something is causing you some grief. Something is causing you to grieve. And you're ready to purge this. You're ready to get rid of this energy. Okay. Give me another card for Taurus, please. For the remainder of July. Thank you. All right, we got winter. All right, winter. All right, so if you're looking for some type of signs, the winter time is going to be the time that you get the sign that you're looking for. Okay. Something significant about the winter. All right. Somebody's mirroring someone's behavior um, or something is a mirror. Like some someone could be, you could feel like this person is, oh, this person is just like this or they're just like that person. And somebody, you could feel like somebody is stuck or you're stuck, okay? So let's see what we get here. Those were your messages for the remainder of July. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got for my Taurus. All right, let's see. What messages are there for my Taurus? This is gonna be for sun, moon, rising, as well as Venus. For the remainder of the month. <clears throat> what message is there for Taurus? What message do we have for Taurus? For the remainder. For the remainder of July. Taurus. We got the lovers. Gemini's energy, the star card, Aquarius's energy, the five of cups, regrets, okay? You regretted something that happened. You regret the way something happened or the way something went down or you feel like in the future you could regret it. You could regret a decision. You hope you don't regret a decision. I got uh, the devil, yeah. And see, the devil, this is a toxic relationship, okay? I'm going to be honest with you guys. Somebody is holding on to to the, 
holding on for dear life. And this situation, this relationship, this whatever this is going on, guys, this this is so toxic, okay? You need to let go of this energy. You're going to have to let this go. We got the four of swords. You're tired of something and you're possibly thinking of a way how to move forward. See, yeah, I got you guys' this energy, the Hierophant. You're possibly thinking of a way to move forward on how to move forward um, out of this situation. Okay, we got the seven of pentacles for future energy. So you're being patient, okay? You're being patient. But well, you're trying to definitely find happiness, okay? Well, maybe you're waiting for this person to find their happiness, okay? I got the strength card, all right? You're trying to have the courage to uh, speak to this person or say what it is that you want to say to this person. Because you do want to take action. You want to take some type of action towards the situation, but I got for some of you, there could possibly be like a marriage here. I got the two of pentacles and the four of wands. This is saying that someone could be still living with someone, living together, or still married here. And I got the three of swords. Someone could have been talking about, you know, a divorce, okay? And there you are, waiting for this person, okay? We got the queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then we got the tower moment here. And this is some shocking news. Some shocking news. You're waiting to hear some shocking news or tell somebody some shocking news. How do you feel about this? How does Taurus feel about this situation? Page of Cups. Yeah. All right. So I'm getting communicating with a group of individuals, okay, about your relationship. Some of you um, are going through a, an awakening some of you want a second chance on a relationship, a bond, a connection. Because somebody feel. look at this, Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords. Somebody's pretty pissed. Somebody's pretty pissed here with this Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords, okay? Queen of Wands or King of Wands. King of Wands. So how they view you is the King of Wands, okay? Could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Yeah, they don't want to, they don't want to hold on to this. They don't want to hold this, keep this energy, okay? But they feel abandoned or left out in the cold. They feel left out in the cold, okay, by you, okay? Wow. What's in the hopes and fears? Oh, Okay. We got the Queen of Wands. So we got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Definitely Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. And then we got the Empress. The Empress, okay? So this could be someone's mother. Someone could um, be dealing with a mother or a female energy. Okay, I'm getting Libra, Taurus. This is you guys' energy as well. I got the Ten of Cups. And the, see, you want to offer them, you want to offer this person the it's like I gave you, I did the best that I could. I'm doing the best that I can type energy. Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Like someone is offering a, a family unit. Um, the Ten of Cups energy. Why, what's the outcome here? The High Priestess. This is Pisces' this energy. But you're going to, this is secretive energy as well too. This is pretty secretive energy very spiritual energy as well so why is the high priestess here this is you listening to your intuition look you know the truth look at this you know what happened you know the truth why is the ace of swords here yeah you know what's gonna happen why is the three of wands here hangman Five of Swords. Okay. Somebody's making somebody mad here. With the Magician and the Five of Swords. Somebody's making somebody mad. Why is the Five of Swords here? 
Six of Cups. This is about something from the past, okay? And somebody's not showing any emotion. Somebody's trying to block their emotions about the situation. Somebody's not wanting to communicate about it, possibly with family. Okay, we got you guys' energy with the Queen of Pentacles. But somebody's defending somebody. Look at this. Seven of Wands and the Knight. The Seven of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Somebody's defending somebody, okay? Or somebody feels like somebody's family is defending them um, because someone's afraid to get, that they're going to be attacked of how the other person is going to respond, okay? Wow. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Fool. You want to move on from the past, yep. You want to move forward from the past. You want to start fresh. But why is there regrets here? Yeah, look at the hermit. You feel bad about a situation. Why is the five of cups here? Nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles, okay. Five of pentacles. Somebody feels left out in the cold. Somebody's disappointed. Are you afraid of leaving or you feel bad that you that you left somebody in a messed up situation? You didn't mean for it to happen like that or to go like that? Why is the love is hard here? Yeah. The six of swords. Okay. I got the king of cups and the three of pentacles. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Why is the Six of Swords here? The Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody... Okay, you guys... I feel like you guys love this person, okay? But you had to make a decision on how you were going to move and what was going to be your best move. I don't think that it turned out being a good decision. I feel like it ended up being turning out really, really bad here. With this devil card here. Why is the star card here? Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the devil here? This is interesting. We got the eight of swords. Yes, somebody's stuck in their ways. Somebody has some ways that they were stuck in. And somebody didn't tell somebody something. What? What? Okay. Somebody is was afraid to speak up. Why is the eight of swords here? Yep, somebody was afraid. Or you guys were afraid to speak up about this situation. This is deep. This is something deep. Okay. This is something really deep. Why is the four of swords here? For past energy. You keep thinking about it. Okay. You keep thinking about it. Some of y'all are thinking about it. Even like when you're at work. I got the queen of cups. The tower here. See this is something about some shocking news. Okay. You don't want to, that that you don't want to talk about or something that you didn't want to say. Um, but I feel like it came out possibly dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio female with the Queen of Cups here. Maybe you're trying to find a way, thinking of a way to try to fix it. But you feel bad about this situation. You feel bad about this situation. But I feel like you know the truth. The outcome is you finding out the truth or you already know the truth. Okay, you possibly are just waiting for this person to get angry enough to express themselves or tell their side. Okay, now this goes back to Purge. Okay, so I want to see why Purge is here. Why is Purge here for Taurus? Thank you. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, see, this is, this is something that's been going on for a while. Because the Seven of Pentacles is when you've planted your seeds and you're waiting for a harvest, okay? You're being patient, okay? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? 
Mm, two of swords. You don't know what why. I feel like <laughs> you're not sure if this person is doing this for attention. Why is the two of swords here? You guys, it's energy. But this situation is burdensome. It's burdensome and it's heartbreaking. And it could also be a situation that is dividing a family. There's possibly like a separation or a divorce. And you just feel burdened by the situation. Like you just feel burdened by the situation. And this causing you some grief. Why is the grief? Look at this. This jumped right out. The same card. Nine of Swords. You do feel burdened by this situation. This situation, you may be having sleepless nights. You know, you're not eating right, not thinking right. Not. It's just you feel a lot of really burdensome because the situation is still open. It's a wound that hasn't closed yet, okay? And it keeps being brought up. It keeps being brought up, okay? Keeps being brought up, brought to the table because it's an open wound. Now let's go to winner. Queen of Wands. I feel like there's some action that's going to be taken possibly on your end or you guys are dealing with a female or male uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Lots of fire in this reading. And look at this. The Devil and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. What's can I get in that somebody is like money hungry or somebody is very toxic, okay? I'm getting real toxic energy here. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Eight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody walking away. The Knight of Pentacles could be someone younger. It could be um, as well as Capricorn's energy, Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. And the King of Cups. Okay, so you're working on something. You're busy at work. You're busy building. And then I got the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So this is like someone walking away. Why's the Knight of Pentacles here? Four of Swords. You're thinking about leaving. You're thinking about walking away. But you feel like this is going to be a big risk if you walk away from this situation. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I will chat with y'all later. Ciao.